We have seen the first crude beginnings of artificial intelligence. It doesn't really exist yet at any level because our most complex computers are still morons, high-speed morons, but still morons. Nevertheless, some of them are capable of learning, and we will one day be able to design systems that can go on improving themselves, themselves so that at that stage, we have the possibility of machines which can outpace their creators and therefore become more intelligent than us. Artificial intelligence, a machine beyond the mind of man. It's science fiction, but is it also fact? Chess, for centuries a test of the human intellect. But these men are merely observers. In August 1977, 16 computer programs competed against each other in the second World Computer Chess Championship. Pigeon takes rook, and the black queen starts checking down here. Eventually, Hossie picks up this pawn check. Yeah, ready, Bob? Oh. Yeah, Hossie picks up this pawn check. The best programs here can defeat 95% of all serious human players. The crowd tonight is absolutely phenomenal. I've never seen a crowd like this before at a computer chess tournament. And there's certainly about twice as many people here as ever go to watch the US Open Championship or the United States Closed Championship, even when Fisher was playing. I think that probably most of you are having a good laugh tonight and you're here out of curiosity, but in a few years' time, you'll be here because these programs are playing better than the Masters and Grandmasters in the US Championship. The favorite, Northwestern University's Chess 4.6, is playing a program from Bell Labs. Now we have a move. Rook to King, Rook 7. Linked by telephone to a computer in Minneapolis, Chess 4.6 quickly examines a vast number of possible moves. Okay. Eight and two. The style of play is distinctly not human. Eight to Bishop 7, mate. And Chess 4.6 has just given mate. Will computers ever think like people? It is a question that goes beyond chess. A central fact about computers is that computers are prodigious calculators. They can solve uh, huge systems of differential equations, invert very large matrices, and other such mathematical things. Uh, in my view, there's an enormous difference between judgment and calculation. It is, it is that gap, the difference between judgment and calculations, that, uh, that computers uh, uh, can't uh, can't cross from the beginning of science there have always been people uh, telling you that this or that boundary line is a sacred one and can never be crossed uh, that it would be never never be possible for example to uh, for scientists to uh, simulate or synthesize the basis of life not very long ago the first complete uh, gene was synthesized in the laboratory um, this uh, vitalist attitude of uncrossable frontiers is behind the uh, question of whether there are human mental abilities which could never be simulated. I personally see no more reason now to be discouraged by this vaguely expressed feeling than scientists have been in the past.